We're continuing to follow the historic decision on Capitol Hill to impeach President Trump. The House of Representatives voted to approve two articles of impeachment, abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. Republicans voted unanimously against both articles, while only two Democrats in the House voted against the first article. The historic vote makes President Trump the third president in U.S. history to be impeached. Yesterday's vote means there will be a trial in the Senate to determine if the president will be removed from office. But with Republicans in control of that chamber of Congress, that is unlikely. Now, there's been mixed reaction to the president's impeachment. Even ahead of yesterday's vote, an NBC Wall Street Journal poll showed Americans were deadlocked over the move. Down on your sides, Kiana Patterson joins us in the newsroom. And Kiana, how do our local lawmakers feel about the decision? Well, Don and Katie, lawmakers for parts of Hampton Roads and North Carolina are also split. Some say they're disappointed in the process, while others say President Trump must be held accountable. Representatives Elaine Luria, Bobby Scott, and Donald McEachin voted to approve the articles of impeachment. Luria, a military veteran, says President Trump risked national security for personal gain. And Representatives Rob Whitman and Greg Murphy voted against the articles of impeachment, saying the process was unfair and unfounded. Luria and Murphy took the floor yesterday. Here's what they had to say. I rise today in support of our Constitution, in support of the military members in harm's way who defend our Constitution. I rise in opposition to these baseless articles of impeachment and the unprecedented process that's been used in this effort to impeach the duly elected President of the United States. And President Trump maintains he's done nothing wrong, but now the case moves to the Republican-controlled Senate in January. In the newsroom, Kiana Patterson, 10 on your side.